the glory is yours Father God in this place we are rule and reign speak to each one of us in your name Jesus Amen, Amen. Hallelujah Shalom Shalom Peace of God, people of God. How are you? How was your day? At work, at home. Glory and praise to our God. We are carrying on in the book of Corinthians. We are heading to the 13th chapter. for us to fully comprehend the 13th chapter let's go back to 1 Corinthians 12 verse 31 nyamara inzira but earnestly desire the best gifts and yet I show you a more excellent way uh, the gifts of the spirit always demonstrate the power of God However, the fruits of the Spirit demonstrate the nature of God. The Bible says, earnestly desire the best gifts. And yet I show you a more excellent way. Those of you who want gifts, I'll show you an excellent way towards the gifts. I will show you how you can achieve or reach there. Donc, harimbuto, harini imbaraga. So there is fruits on one side and there is power. When the two meet, Donc, when the power of God where we find it in the gifts and the nature of God that we find in fruits when the two meet they bring the glory of God the glory of God will be seen when the nature and the power of God meet Paul tells the Corinthians you have the power because you have different gifts the Bible, the Bible tells us nine gifts but the Bible also tells us of nine fruits but when you analyze well it's one fruit with nine offsprings if I should say let's go to the book of Galatians Galatians 5 22 Bibiliya y'ikinyarwanda mu byukuri ntabwo i ihavuga neza ha nka bibiliya y'ikigiriki cyangwa se yi izindi ngi gifaransa n'icyongereza harakana aha baratangira abagati ya gatano 2022 ngo ariko rero imbuto z'umwuka ni mu bindi bice bavuga ngo imbuto y'umwuka ni when you read Galatians 5.22 English and French Bibles it's different from Kinyarwanda because the Bible says in English but the fruit of the spirit it's singular listen fruits. it's not in plural anyone with the French Bible the fruit the fruit Voilà. Mais le fruit de l'esprit, c'est l'amour. But the fruit of the spirit is love. La joie. Joy. La paix. 
peace, la patience, long la bonté, kindness, la bienveillance, goodness, la fidélité, faithfulness, la douceur, gentleness, la tempérance. Self -control. Nine so-called fruits, but out of one, which is love. Donc, urukundo ni goru domina. So love is the major force. Peace comes in love. Joy comes in love. All of these are in a shell of love. Nine fruits, nine gifts. So Paul wants to show us. He wants to show us an excellent way towards gifts. But he begins with fruits. Amen. Amen. Uh, when you read 13 of 1 Corinthians and the 14th chapter as well we'll go to 14 verse 1 we'll take time 1 Corinthians 14 verse 1 mushimikire urukundo Kandi mifuze eh imano zumuk ariko cyane cyane mifuze guhanura prophecy <laughs> The Bible says pursue love and pursue donc kimbi yatafutana higa urukunda uru to pursue pursuivre en français pursuivre pursue love seek love and desire spiritual gifts but especially that you may prophesy determine yourself to pursue to seek for love then, then when you seek for the gift of prophecy but it's rooted in love you will not offend people the love that the Bible speaks of it has all the nine fruits nine gifts nine fruits according to Galatians 5.22 both are wings of a dove the Bible says that the Holy Spirit came on Jesus as a dove the Holy Spirit of God gives us the fruits and the gifts in other words he gives us the power of God and the nature of God now there are people who want to have gifts only yes God will give you the gifts but you're flying on one wing you cannot fly any further now there are those who want fruits and they receive but they can't fly without gifts 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 enable us to bless people fruits enable us to glorify God when I pray for you and you receive your healing you are blessed no, no, iyo mbikora nyurukundo. Now when I do it with love. Imani bwira Satani ngo wabonye umukozi wa. God will tell Satan, have you seen my servant? Imani habwe cyubahiro. God is glorified. Urukundo rwayo. In his love. Ubundi iyo umuntu afite urukundo rw'Imana. As a matter of fact, when you have the love of God, you know how to use the gifts. But when you don't have the fruit, you misuse the gifts. You will not be compassionate to people. He doesn't, she doesn't care. They do not care where or how you will fall but when you have the love of God you will tell people to stand behind them and you pray for them ah, good. did you get it where he says and yet I show you a more excellent way once he said that statement remember he's speaking to the Corinthian church had people full of gifts and they used to despise others based on the gifts they had 
This is the Corinthian church. They spoke in tongues. They performed wonders. But they had no fruits. Actually, fruits will stop you from sinning. When I love you truly, I'll not sin against you. Because sin is offensive. Don't the Corinthian church had gifts they misused the gifts because they did not have love so we enter chapter 13 with Paul Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clanging symbol. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains but have not love, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, but have not love, it profits me nothing. Ah. He's speaking of paramount things. When you have gifts, but you have no fruits. It's worthless. He says, even if I was to get burnt, but with no love, I'm just impressing people. Though I would feed the poor. Now, you could ask yourself, isn't it love to feed the poor? Paul is speaking. Paul is speaking of someone who feeds the poor for the sake of impressing people, not for the sake of genuine love. But when there is love, and then we have the gifts. <laughs> It's extraordinary. So though I speak in tongues, and I even get to the point of speaking tongues of angels, but no fruits. When they speak of love here, the nine fruits, because all the others are offsprings of love. So though I have these, I am worthless. I'm a clanging symbol. Sounding brass. Making noise. Because it's empty. But when it's full, it's quiet. So most of the times, people who make noise tend to be empty. But when you're full, you don't need to make noise. So the, ex the excellent way that Paul shows us is the way of love. I may not be able to heal the sick. Do you get it? I may not be able to prophesy. I may not even have the gift of understanding things or revelation. I may not have the gift of performing signs and wonders. But simply because I love people, the love I have of preaching to them, I come and I preach to you and you get saved. And I love you. It has all begun in love. Paul is saying, I'm showing you an excellent way that leads you to gifts. When God sees you before me, 
Because of the love I have. And I've brought you to salvation. But I do not have the gift of healing. But simply because of love. God gives it to me. God gives me the gift. Because of the people I love. So love is the way towards gifts. Love It is the way that leads you to gifts Because when you love people When you love ministers to them And you want them to get saved And they sit before you and have no food God gives you the gift of wisdom And you know where to get them food Simply put Love with all the gifts is the way towards greatness. Do you remember, I told you about the 12 channels, and I taught the channel of love. I gave you the example of Mother Teresa. She was 19 years old from Albania. And it was in the time of Paul that Albania was in Macedonia. Teresa wanted to reach out to the Indians who had been rejected by the world. He had so much love for the rejects of society. So she told her family, I want to give up myself to God. I want to help the vulnerable, the poor, rejects. So in Calcutta of India That's the place where they had left All the rejects of society Lepers Even their relatives could not visit them Because they were afraid of contracting leprosy at 19 years old, a virgin, Teresa, sets out to live with the lepers in Calcutta. She lived with she them. She didn't have money. She was not known. No one even paid attention to her. She got a ticket to Calcutta. All she could do was to wash those people. They were rejected by their father and mother because they were lepers. Teresa went to wash them. They started calling her mother because they didn't have a mother. That's where the name Mother Teresa came from. Lepers called her mother. When they saw the love Teresa showed them, they chose to call her mother because their mothers had rejected them. Teresa was mama. Teresa became a mother. News spread. People looked well. They laughed. Simply because she cared. She would wash them. She would look for means. She would beg for food to feed them. And people heard about her. They started helping her. She would take all the money to these people. She started building houses for them. Life came. There was a neighborhood now. Everyone knew about Calcutta. Americans knew about her. Europeans knew about her. Mother Teresa People sent millions to Mother Teresa. Teresa And she built houses. Everyone would send their sick people to where Teresa was. And she said, bring them to me. She was still washing people even in her old age. And the world sat. And they said, we have to give her a Nobel Prize. Let's give her a Nobel Prize. That's how she became known. And she said, No, why should you award me? I am doing it for the sake of love. And the world begged her. She refused. Till the time they sent people to her. You know, people are difficult. Then she took the Nobel Prize. Vatican. Vatican. The Vatican. 
The Vatican said we have to recognize you as a great woman. And she said I only washed lepers. Nothing great in that. The excellent way. The excellent way. So the excellent way leading you to all the gifts we look for if they were to go through love God would do great things that's how Teresa became renowned I think now she's been made a saint I think she's a saint now God approved of Mother Teresa before the world ever approved of her, before the Vatican ever approved of her. So let me say this. Teresa did not leave Albania to go and pray for lepers to be healed. Uh -uh. No. She didn't have those gifts. She went to Calcutta to love them. Love love will usher us in doors that lead us to gifts the fruits of God lead us in the power now this is the problem we see now this is the problem <laughs> fruits will need you to soil to toil the land until you saw them and wait for them to bear fruit, the trees. But for gifts, they are gifts, they are free. People choose for free things other than work hard for the fruits. If they were to bring water here and they say it's free, everyone get your bottle. And, and someone else and someone else will come and sell a bottle for 100 francs we would all choose to take the free bottles instead of buying when do we get the gifts when we are saved when we receive Christ we receive the gifts of the spirit but the fruits, when do we receive them? When we go through hardships. Hardships, trials of life. Sometimes Sometimes trials come in our lives and we rebuke Satan. We say, Satan, I rebuke you. And yes, Satan will move away. But actually, it's an opportunity for you to harvest the fruit. Can you be patient if you're not tried? You, you cannot wake up one morning with patience. It doesn't work like that. You can't wake up with love. It doesn't work like that. I have peace. You toil the soil. And you saw. And you saw. So we toil the soil and we sow the seed of love and then God allows enemies to rise against you just so that your fruit will bear. But then we say, God, take the fruit of love. I cannot bear with this hatred. I'm done. I mean, how can you be patient? If, if, how can you be patient if you don't have people who test you to the limits? Is it even possible? hardships and trials when you go to the book of James 1 hmm. uh -huh. uh, I, I don't know what happened to Teresa. 
I do believe that God is raising more fruit in our lives in this season. And I actually believe that for every dimension, you receive a fruit to sow in that place that you may stand on that mountain. So this is the season of fruits. Nirimwe kabiri kugeza kuri kane ngo bene data mwemere ko ari ibyishimo rwose ni mugubwa gitumo ni bibagerageza bitari bimwe mumenye yuko kugeragezwa ko kwizera kwanyu gutera kwihangana yisimbuto yitwa kwihangana ariko mureke kwihangana nako gusoza umurimo wako mubone gutungana rwose mushitse mutabuzeho na gato James 1 verse 2 the Bible says my brethren count it all joy when you fall into various trials knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience but let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete lacking nothing eh ni atara yo bugatanu 10 yakobo gatanu mumbabare yo yakobo gatanu james 5:11 mwibuke yuko abihanganye tubita abanyehirwe mwumvise ibyo kwihagana kwa yobu kandi muzi ibyo umwami imana yaherutse kumugirira kuko ifite imbabazi nyinshi n'impuhwe indeed we count them blessed who endure you have heard of the perseverance of job and seen the end intended by the lord that the lord is very compassionate and merciful wala bene data ngo mureke kwihanga ngo ngo ibigeregezo byabageragereza bya buri munsi ngo bitari bimwe mumenye yuko kugeragezwa kuva mu imbuto yitwa kwihanga count it all joy when you fall into various trials because these trials will lead to patience niba hari abantu bakagombye kugira ibibazo buri munsi no mugore no mugabo ariko bagira imbuto yitwa kwihanga if there are people who should have problems on a daily basis, it's husbands and wives, but they have cultivated patience. Let me be patient. And the fruit will grow. Then eventually <laughs> things become normal. Because you have cultivated patience. When you have cultivated patience in your marriage, you can easily give counsel to other couples and they see that what they're going through is less compared to what you're going through. You can teach patience. The fruits of the Spirit. Give us the nature of God. Now the sins we commit every day. God would have killed all of us. But he is used to living with sinners so he chooses to be quiet. When you get saved. He gives, he gives you a fruit. He gives you a fruit and says do not eat this cultivate this. But gifts work automatically. Ah, the challenge we have is believers young believers who get saved and receive gifts because gifts come right away but they have not cultivated the fruits so wherever they go their reputation is always not clear because they have not cultivated the fruits. This is the problem. People say, who is that person? Or where is he from? And they say they're from Zion Temple. But when you see their reputation, you see what they do, it's questionable. They have not cultivated fruits in their lives. 
a farmer who is going to sow the seed they know what they will encounter when you want to be like Jesus you need to know two things there is grace and there is discipline discipline ni discipline donc abantu benshi bazinga ubuntu twaha ubuntu n'Imana ubuntu buri mu impano buri mu imigisha buri mu biki hakaba indi twita discipline discipline rero uburi musaka gusana Yesu now people know that we have received grace and they know in grace we find the gifts of the spirit but little do they know that we need discipline and with discipline we're walking towards being like Jesus when we get saved get this when we get saved God does not give us a heart that hates sin we teach ourselves to hate sin because if God did it Satan discipline if God would give us hearts that are disciplined right away Satan would accuse him in court and say they will get saved obviously because you change their hearts but when we discipline ourselves and we learn to love God we learn to say no to sin when you get saved when, when you get saved all the beautiful ladies and the handsome men will not disappear they will stay around if, if we are <laughs> don't care. If only we would get saved and the people who tempt us would die but doesn't happen like that. God needs them to leave so that they too will get saved. God allows them to keep moving around and he watches to see if you love him enough to say no. When you get saved your friends and the bar and the nightclub remain. You move in grace. But discipline refuses you from entering the bar. I almost died there. And you turn. I leave the world behind. And I focus on the cross. And I will not turn back. I will not turn back. The nightclub remains and you turn your back. discipline <laughs> You get saved and, and you keep that relationship, that sinful relationship, and then you pray, Holy Spirit, stop him from coming to see me. Oh, stop him, Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit cannot do that. You, you're still engaged in the relationship. They came. You stayed. Why? the heart that invites that gentleman or that lady to see you is a heart that lacks discipline stopping sin just needs you to be disciplined that's all you can steal the money just like you may choose not to steal the money God will not bring an angel to beat your hand so that you do not steal 
If that was the case, Eve would not have eaten the fruit. The angel would have stopped her. God allows you to do it because you choose. If salvation is pleasant to you, you will draw closer to Jesus and if you choose otherwise, you will go to Satan. Like, let me tell you this and do not be deceived no one sins just by accident we are not robots we are not machines we are not trees we think about it and we make the choice and when we make the choice sometimes we say God this is my last time this is my last time this is my last time but you choose the love you have for God is what inspires you to choose not to sin people of God Love, therefore. Love, therefore, is the fruit that inspires other fruits to come in our lives and we may reach the stature of Christ. When you get saved, you receive gifts in one hand and you receive fruits in another hand. But the, fru the fruit of many The fruits of many are hung somewhere While they just use the gifts The Bible says You will know, know them by their gifts no. You will know them by their gifts but By their fruits By their fruits Vraiment, de we, we will only know that you serve God judging you by the fruits. Do not be amazed by the gifts people have and how they use them. Take time to study their lives in terms of fruits. Do they have the fruits of God? What motivates them? Are they motivated by love or something else? We will know them by the fruits or the things that cause them to do what they do. Voilà. Love. When we have love, other fruits come. Other gifts come. When you have the love of God, you can easily ask for other gifts and God gives them to you. Actually, you don't even need to pray for the gifts. God gives them to you that you may bless those people. Why? The love of God. In the love of God, we find all good things that we desire. And God uses you to bless those people and meet their needs. Whatever we may do, all our gifts, all our works, if we don't have the love of God, it's all futile. Eh, Let's go back to 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4. The Bible speaks about love. 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 Let's go to 
Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love does not parade itself. Is not puffed up. Does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. Is not provoked. Thinks no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Bears all things. Believes all things. Hopes all things. Endures all things. So these are the things that love does. This is the nature of love. These are other fruits that come from love. When we have the love of God, we learn to be patient. We learn to be good to people. We are not jealous. And we're happy when other people are jealous. We're patient. We forgive. We trust all things. Basically, love is God. This is God in man. God's nature in man. Because the Bible says, God is love. Verse 8 Love will never fail. No kufugizini ni mikuzagira Iherezo Ubuenge nabuwa buzakuru Waho Alikuruku no niruzashir Love never fails But whether there are prophecies They will fail Whether there are tongues They will cease Whether there is knowledge It will vanish away Kuchi uruku no rutazashir Why will love never cease Uruku no niruzashir Kukimana uruku no Love will never cease because God is love. God himself is love. Now those in God have the love from him. When we go to the book of 1 John verse John 4 verse 7 and 8 Yohana wa mbere kane The first episode of John chapter 4 Murongo wa kane kari indu yukuta kumuna We're reading from verse 4 Vakundu wa tukunda ne Kukuru kundu rufa kumana Umunue sukunda ya vza weni imana Kanda zimana Uda kunda nta zimana Kukumana aruru kundu we're reading from verse 7 the Bible says beloved let us love one another for love is of God and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God he who does not love does not know God for God is love for God is love God is love the the identity the Karte yijuru nurukundo nibyo bigaragaza ko turi abana biki b'Imana imana nurukundo the ID card of every believer is love just like you go and they ask you for your ID in heaven the ID is love because God is love urukundo love nigo gwatumye Yesu aza mwisi love brought Jesus on urukundo love nigo tuzasanga mwijuru we will find it in heaven ikizatuma mwijuru tutarambirwa yo we will never get bored with heaven because because everywhere because we will feel so much love and affection in heaven that we will not get bored of heaven because love is everywhere God will be everywhere and we will feel and touch the love of God love it will never fail other gifts will end in, in heaven they won't need the gift of healing because there are no sick people in heaven in heaven there is no hunger in heaven so there will not be any multiplication of fish and bread 
mwijuru nakuvuga mu ndi mitwe zo watwiyumvira We will not need to speak in tongues in heaven because we will all get what is being said. Nubwo waririmba mu gishinwa umunyarwanda zacyumva. Kuko icyo giye twese ururimi rwose ukoresheje tsaba dufite capacity yo kurwumva kuko focus yacu ni imana. Twese bizaba byerekeye ku mana. Nubwo utana byumva si we bireba bizaba bireba imana. Donc nuko niko bimeze mu ijuru. In heaven even if a Chinese man praises God in Chinese the Munyarwanda or the Rwandan will hear it because the focus will be God and the praise and worship towards him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pero izindi mano zose stop. All gifts will cease. Hazasigara gusa indirimbo z'urukundo. Only songs of love. Niyo mavuga ngo mu ijuru bazaririmba sukurimba kujya gusa no na majeste harukuvuga harukujestiwa ndo ikindi cyo tugeze kiki pare love love everything amu amu, amu. <laughs> everything yeah. in heaven every abuzatera izaba ari jeste ya love every every gesture in heaven will be love based amen amen uzi wa muririmbye yaravuze ngo ni mbono bwiza bwe bwo mu juru zajandirimi kiteka ryose zajandirimi eh mubaza nzajya mubaza azajya mubaziza mu ndirimba pa no maga nzajya mubaza yesu niki chako love i'm feeling those are ngo yesu wangu ndiki kazaba kari mu karirimba ibintu byose eh haleluya nzajya mubaza ndirimba nyandi Yesu niki chaku Afite tuzaba dufite ibibazo byinshi Yesu wankundi iki nabo babwire ngo mwankundi iki dusubizanye gucyo mu melody <laughs> Eh haleluya Urukundo ndi ruzashira Love will never cease in heaven we'll just be communicating in love songs Uzaba yo genza bari kumisozi erade banezeranwa numukiza basizi mibabaro yose uzabayo ngenza bayo haleluya haleluya aho hantu rero niba utarigeze umenya urukundo kwisi rendezvous au ciel tuzahurire yo uzarwumva If you have never experienced true genuine love here our appointment is in heaven we will meet there and meet you The gift of God When they walk in the fruit Kuko tuvoma urukundo mu mutima no muri kamere y'Imana bigatuma impano z'Imana tuzikoresha neza Because we fetch all from the love of God and we use the gift appropriately Impano z'Imana The gifts zikoraneza work well iyo zikoreye mu rukundo when they operate in love haleluya haleluya urukundo ndi ruzashira love will never cease izindi impano zizashira all other gifts are kurukundo but love haleluya haleluya ruzashira will never fail koko bwima people of god i will show you a more excellent way you want gifts? you want greatness what do you want what do you no, want no, no, no. No. love pursue love cherche l'amour seek love seek for it everything else will come Eh? Bwana sifiwe sa. Amen. Reka tukumve gatoya. Ku murongo wa 10 nakanga yarya. Na numwe. Ah ah. Turacari ku ikende. Koko tumenyaho igice kandi duhanura ho igice. Ari ku bw'igishitse rwose kizasohora. Bizabindi bidashitse bizakurwa. 
For we know in part and prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part will be done away. Ah, 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 we know in part. We prophesy in part. Though they would give you gifts, you only use in part. But when that which is perfect has come, when the love of God has come in you, everything else in part will fall what is perfect it's love of God and the fruits of God when the fruits are falling in you you are like Jesus you have the maturity of Jesus you are of the dimension of Jesus does Jesus need the gift of healing he, he just moves by and his shadow will heal the sick. Why? He came to die. So rebuking demons is an easy thing. When the love of God is in our hearts, therefore, prophesy. Prophesy. the greatest dimension is the dimension of love. Everything else, speaking in tongues, prophesying, it all falls away. The greatest dimension is love. Jesus saw people and saw that they were hungry because of love he, he told Peter get them something to eat they brought their budget 200 denaria to feed them they, they walk Jesus they are saved they believe in him but they don't know anything about love and they say we advise you and you never get it but please get us this time let them go back home and eat in their households Jesus was Mm -hmm. Jesus was different from the disciples on the fact of love what he saw is not what they saw when you are different from people based in love you see things differently yes. Jesus Jesus says feed them the the, the disciples say let them go back home it's still due time for them to go back home we only have 200 dinner we don't need to spend it on feeding them and Jesus still says feed them let them sit and I command Give space, 50, 100, give space. Andrea Raz. Andrew comes. And he says, I have five loaves. We will work with you. Five loaves. Jesus was looking for someone who had love like him, someone willing to share the little they have. Andrew gave his five loaves of bread and two fish. Peter. Peter. Now Peter. Peter was a brother to Andrew, but very different at heart. Now you But John. John was gnashing his teeth. Mm. 
we have no food in our houses we complain and he says the son of man has nowhere to put his head he's about to feed these thousands of people yet we have no food this was their mindset once they sat Jesus did not do magic the heart of love fulfilled five loaves of bread and two fish he prayed and gave thanks gave thanks to the father do you know what he was saying Papa, father they were listening to your word the whole day I can't let them go without food and some have no food in their houses father do something right away Every place fish appeared. Cooked fish. Cooked fish. The heart of love will create things for you. When the perfect comes, that which is part will move off. Bararja. They ate. They were full. Everyone even kept yes, to take. And then Jesus told Peter. You always complain. I do not care about you. Take the scraps that have been left. We had the one. We ate food. And they left. Peter and everyone else Just collected. Samak. Part of Imiga. fish. Part of bread. Everyone had their baskets. Twelve baskets. Take to your family. This is how Jesus works. That's the heart of love. In love, we find miracles. When the perfect has come, the fruits of God, when they come, the gifts that you were using in part will be silenced and the fruits operate many people that God has used in great things did not know that they had the gift of healing or miracles they only had the heart of love Sadu. There is a young man called Sadu. He was praying under a tree. He was sitting. He was in a school. He had people who hated him in that school. And they said he exaggerated everything he said. Then one morning they said, let's go and hear what he has to say. And they found him to be praying for a blessing for his enemies. Bless this person. I know they hate me. But remember them. That they may win, pass school. That they may get tuition fees. That they may advance. That they may be great. He took the whole list of his enemies. And even reached the person who had come to hear him pray. And prayed even more prayed for blessings prayed for their marriage prayed for everything and interceded and then the man ran went to tell everyone else at school I don't know if I don't know if Sadu is human or he's God but he's been praying for us all this time what? So they decided to go back and pick him. When they picked at him, they saw a tiger come. But he's bowed down and it came almost about to eat him. And they said, let's watch. The tiger came. The tiger came. Came. When it reached Sadu, 
turned and went to his feet when Sadhu looked up he looked at the tiger and the tiger had become like a dog and Sadhu said I know you are hungry you wanted me for pray but may God give you food to eat today move forward you will find your pray the tiger rose up and ran and when it jumped ahead it met a small animal took the animal and ate it and the men came to ask for forgiveness they told him what they had seen and they said why didn't you tell us that you have power to perform miracles he said I'm not aware of this but I have sanctified myself and I have God's nature in me in a way that I'm like Adam before the fall that's why animals obeyed his voice I did not do anything for the tiger to eat and I even prayed for prayer I am like Adam in Eden why love the tiger found him praying for his enemies when the past has come when the perfect has come when the perfect has come that which is right that which is God's nature has come all the gifts all that which is in part is done away glory to Jesus hallelujah 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 verse 11 when I was a child I spoke as a child I understood as a child I thought as a child but when I became a man I put away childish things gifts are for children fruits are for adults when you are afraid of trials you are a child children cry every moment if they don't get what they want they cry but adults will be patient imagine if you all cried that there is no salt in the house it's a house of children but the mother will tell the children we will buy salt tomorrow be quiet children do not know the meaning of patience you tell them we have no food and they still ask for bread and other things children want gifts they Mama, want give me, give me, give me, imha, 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 imha. gifts but mature people have fruits if we don't eat today we will eat tomorrow that's patience I'm in this home in this marriage because of my children because of my husband my wife avuga ngumuntu ukuze aha yavuga giki impano nimbuto 
So Paul is telling the Corinthians, you are still children. You speak like children. You think like children. But I want to show you what mature people in the spirit do. This is how they work. He was talking about fruits and gifts. Hmm. Oh, hallelujah. Kiru mwana muto, niko nari imeze nanji. Ngweriko maze gukura, mfamu zubu gana. When I was a child, I spoke as a child myself. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. The church in Corinth only showed gifts, but they couldn't think or plan or pray or work the fruits. You toil and then you harvest. Love is difficult. And actually love is more difficult than hating. Because it's a mountain with two slips. When you love so much, you hate so much. On one side, on one side is love and on another side is hate. People who love each other are those who hate each other. Patience and anger are two-sided coins. Something amazing. The Bible says that I'm a God who is slow to anger. You remember? But when I am angry, I will strike men and their children to the fourth generation. I may God slow to anger. But when I become angry, I strike till the fourth generation Israel was amazed the Bible says he carried them like an eagle carried his eaglets and then it covered them like a hen with its eggs and fed them the food of kings and they drank milk from rocks and honey from rocks I spoiled Israel until she was fat then one day Israel turned me to wrath I spent time loving them I was patient with them but the day I turned Israel was amazed Asked, Where is your mercy, O Lord? Where is our God? we have become a disgrace to the nations because they are asking where is our God Ephraim. Ephraim is like bread that was not beaten enough I will turn till you will know I am Israel. Israel what I want from you is not sacrifice but I want love from you but you refuse to stand in my love when you operate in gifts you forget the fruit of God children children are happy to perform miracles to impress people miracles for the mature operate in love in love I'm not stopping you from operating in gifts I love gifts but let it go through the blender of love everything you will do will become successful it will last it will be established it's not for a short time be grounded in the love it is grounded it's established in love it is grounded Gishimitse Murukundo. Ariku Itanga Tachakore Muri Impressio. Nyuma Yimisi Virongera Ukareshita. 
A miracle that has been performed for the sake of impressing people, it will fail, it will fall. But when it is grounded in love, it lasts. Ichakora, kumunongo chumina kabiri. Ngono ne turebera mundo re guamo ibirori rori. Aruki chogihe tuzareba na duhanga nyemu mas. No ne menyahui gich. Aruki chogihe zamenyargo se hukona menywe rugos. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I shall know just as I also am known. The day we shall present ourselves before God. The day we shall see God. We will understand his love. Then it will not be dimly in mirror, but it will be clear. Yes, Hallelujah. Then it will not be as I see myself in a mirror today. I will see God in His love. I will understand the dimension of love. Yes, Hallelujah. He said it in the book of Ephesians. That's why I love Ephesians. Let me show you where he said it in Ephesians. Abba Ephesians. Ephesians. Ephesians chapter three. Wala kumurongo wachumi na kanga e muni wutse numunani. Good. Okay, numunani. Muhabge. Ariko uwasomira isengesho neza kuri 14 tugaza kuri 18. 14 no ku 18 kugira ngo muje kuhumva neza na 19. Mumve ibyo Pope Paul yavugaga. Aravuga ngo nicyo gituma mfuka mira data wa twese. Uwe imiryango yose yo mwijuru niyo mwisi yitirirwa. Ngo abahe kuko ubutunzi bw'ubwiza bwe buri gukomezwa cyane mu mitima yanyu kubwo umwuka we kandi ngo Kristo ahore mu mitima yanyu kubwo kwizera kugira ngo ubwo mumaze gushorera imizi he you see grounded in love yes mumaze gushorera imizi yo kwizera kwanyu he mu ruko bavuze ijambo kwizera kwizera kuri mu mpano z'Imana Murani Vanessa, there are some panosi manaka quiz, a quiet movie, movie short erehe Murukundo, listen, Uva Paul Paul Forer Mugavo, the revelation. Ah, Gushore Mizi Murukundo, Hanyamango Mube Mugisemote, Mushi Kamie, Donke, Solidma Etabli. Verse 18, Hanyma Muhabiki, no Nani Atta. Muhabge imbaraga zoku menyera hamge donke njewe na we nuri yani tomara ku groundinga muri love eh du chometse bien muri kundo imba anoza chuzi chometse he muri love turaza hamge kugira guti ku menyera hamge na vera vos iki ubugari iki ubure ubure iki gumura ambararo niki Nubure bure bwiki bwigi hagararo nubure bure bwiki bwiki jefo bwa rugo iki ubwa rugo niki rugo rugo ah rukunda ah mwebwe vreva donc tuzamenya ubure bure tumenya majepfo tumenya umurambararo hi niki hagararo donc dimension Ah, tu remuri dimasio trapeze. Hey, geometry. Donc, tu menye dimasio. Tu menye dimasio ruku ndorgu iman. Ni, ni turangi za... Wowe, 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 nanje. Tuga huri rahamu. Tu zavadu kozi chubita body. Le core. Umubiri. Umubiri rero ni utuma kristo abahu. Tuke turumutwe kristo no umubiri. Si chaka kufuga wa efeso. Kane nzaba vuga uta. Harikureka mfuga kwa kato. Umfare. Toke, le core. Umubiri, umubiri tashimima ko yampaye kumenya ijambo rya kuko iyo ndisoma mbasa nugotomera amazi 
Fufitinho, tá ligado? Chima isso. Um vai Avera ni tumara guhuriza hamwe ibyari impano tukabishimika mu rukundo rw'Imana uwo munsi tuzasobanukirwa Imana mu burebure bwayo mu murambararo wayo mu donc comment dirais-je mu kinyarwa muri hotel eh profondeur largeur longueur ini géométrie rukundo eh haleluya géométrie rukundo rw'Imana tuzamenya Imana muri superficie Muri dimension ya tuzamenya imana mu mahangre ya imbamvu abantu bataramenya imana riturashingira impano zacu mu mbuto z'imana umunsi zizakorana n'imbuto y'imana tuzumva imana iyo niyo maturite pour avuga hey Ephesians 3 verse 14 the Bible says for this reason I bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ from whom the whole family in heaven and in earth is named that he may grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith that you may be rooted and grounded in love we will only understand the depth and the width of God if we root our gifts to his fruits baravuga uburebure bw'urukundo rw'Imana ngo tu ngimbaraga zo kumenyera hamwe hari imbaraga z'ubumwe tuzamenyera hamwe twese we will all not together at the same time tuzamenyera hamwe twese we will all not together ngo nabera bose with all the abacunguwe na maraso ya Yesu bose tuzamenyera hamwe we will know ubugari nuburebure the width and the length the murambararo the and the height uburebure bw'igihagararo the height and the depth bikijefo gukunda by'Imana of the love of God ngwicogiye en fait then Nineteen. You will know the love of Christ. People do not know the love of Christ. Then you will get it. You will know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge. Kukugera kumwuzura wa Kristo. Amen. Then you will be filled to the stage of Christ. La stature de Christ. Do kumwuzura ico giye voilà. Ki wagera kuri uru rwego utaramenya urukundo rwa Kristo. You cannot reach the stage or if you don't have the love or not the love. Ki wamenya urukundo rwa Kristo utaramenya ubunini uburebure murambararo ibiki by'urukundo rw'Imana never. Kandi wowe wenyine nti wabimenya. Ifoko haba corporate abantu duhurije hamwe mu kwizera. Tugashinga imizi mu there needs to be a corporate agreement of being rooted and grounded in the love of God. Then we can understand the width, the height, the length, and everything about the love of God. Anfet, ilo du kora mzo si chogi he, nukune zesima, suku impressiona ba. Ilo du kora hari, suku erekana ba turibo. Nima na tu gomba ku erekana. Subi wa nebuga chu nima na nima nubga yo. Ilo gomba ku gara gara. So all we do is about God. It has nothing to do with impressing people or getting brownie points it's about pleasing him Imana yo nyine niyo tugomba kwerekana We seek to show him tugomba kuzamura We seek to magnify him Niyo wamenye ngo amaje fo irukundo rw'Imana Once you have known the depth of his love Usobanukirwa impamvu umwana w'ikirara yatashiwa You understand why the prodigal son went back home Kandi kuzimu rugera his love will reach even him. Afete urukundo rw'Imana ruje fikuzimu The love of God will go to hell. Will reach the skies. 
And it will reach the end of the earth. The same. We will have the strength to know. We will know in multitude, not in one. God will walk through us like He does in heaven. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We will know together the greatness and the largeness of his love. Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me say this. There are things we live through because of the notion of the love of God is so low. So we will all receive the knowledge of the love of God and reach the fullness of Christ. All the fullness of God. We need to reach a point where Gitwaza walks and they say, This is the copy of Jesus. When he takes a step, this is Jesus walking. Otherwise, if all that we're doing, our peakest point is not the love of God then we should just abandon. There is no point. It should be the love, the love of God. It has nothing to do with the love of people. The fullness of Christ should be all that we focus on. That's the nature of Christ. When you have it, wherever you pass, whatever you do, People see miracles because the world does not have those people with that kind of love. Such people are rare. When the world finds them, they themselves are miracles. When they work, you think it's miracles, but no, it's God's nature working through them. We need to leave the dimension of using gifts and go to the dimension of using God's nature in us. And then we will reach the point where we are working in centrifuge power. The same power that allows airplanes to fly. And you will not be gravitated towards <laughs> sin. Yes, Hallelujah. We are not grounded in the love. If we are still fighting for meat, me and you are still having issues, we are not grounded in love. The love of God. The love of God. The love of God pushed him to take off his divine nature and came to live with mankind. Because of the love of God, Jesus took off his glory and came to live on earth. That's why I composed that song. When I meditate on these words, it's beyond me. When I think. When I think. I don't have words for it. It's beyond what my heart normally feels. It's something else I can't describe, yet I have joy when I think of the love of God. Kunita futa mimpotevu 
Heshima zo teni zako Natafaka Mboni ba zipso binu bikande I think about this things and it's beyond wa roho yangu Daimani tasi fujina when you think about the love of God God came to look for me it was and you there is no other pleasure you can get no other pleasure may God give us the understanding of this love as I finish on this verse Paul aratubwira inzira tugomba gucamo par excellence inzira y'urukundo. Abakorinda ba mbere 13 13. We're finishing in 1 Corinthians 13 verse 13. Paul is showing us a more excellent way. Ariko none wahagumyeho. Hagumyeho number 1 iki. Kwizera number 2. Ibyiringiro number 3. Urukundo ibyo kwari bingahe eh bitatu ariko ariko ikiruti bindi nurukundo and now abide faith hope love these three but the greatest of these is love hari bitatu bizaguma three will abide ariko but Love is the greatest. What does this mean? Even when we will be with God in eternity, in eternity the three will abide faith, hope, and love. How will they abide? Listen. Faith that the Bible speaks of is a word that comes with trust. I trust you. I am trusting you. If I give you this, you will return it to me. In heaven, the three will lead us. In us, we will always trust in God. We will, we will always trust in Him, have faith in Him. Number two. We will hope for more surprises. This is where hope comes. God is about to do something new for us. We will never get bored in heaven. There are surprises in heaven. We will still hope. Have hope. Hope. Expecting something new from him. Because we have full trust in him knowing that he has something better for us. And the third is love. It will all be done in love. Demonstration the demonstration of God's glory is in love. God will show his glory in love. Even what we shall trust for him to do is in love. Our hope will be rooted in love. The three will abide. Quizera. Faith. Quiringira. Hope. And love. Beloved, this is what I give you. Faith, hope, and love. Let us fight to have this. Because even in eternity we'll find this. Faith, hope, and love will abide but greatly 
Urukuno. Love. Love is the shell in which all these three are found. It will all be done in love. The excellent way Paul was telling the Corinthians. Your gifts. Your ministries. Your titles. I respect them. But. I will show you an excellent way to greater things. Love. If you may rise and we pray. Jesus. Shima, yes. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Natafaka rima bohaya. Yasi simu wa roho ya ku Taimani talisi fuji kalako Natafaka rimambo haya Yasi simu wa roho ya Imani Talisi Fuji Nalango Natafakari Natafakari Mambo Haya Yasisimu Waro Yaku Daimani Talisi Fuji God, I thank you for this wonderful evening. An evening of your grace. Of your power. Teach us. Teach us to walk in the perfect and leave behind that which is in part. Raise us to be mature people. Show us a more excellent way. Show us the way of your love. Show us how to sow your fruit and toil for it and wait for it and wait for it, and wait for it to grow. Teach us, O God. Show us your way. In a way that we may keep a heart full of wisdom. Forgive us. Where we have walked. And there was no power of your love. Man. God. Your church. Let us draw closer to you. All of us. That we may all know. Your love. The fullness of the, love, the height and the depth, the width of the love, and lead us to your fullness. Christ. Bless your church. Let us walk in your power. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Tomorrow on Friday, we have an overnight tomorrow. Come tomorrow for the overnight. May God bless you. Ume acha kiti cha endi ukajifu wa utu kufu kuni tafu tami potefu eshi maso teni zako natafakali. Natafaka lima mbohaya Nasisimu warohu yangu Taimani tasifu jina lako Natafaka lima mbohaya Simu, what